Hi, in this video I will let you see, uh, I think, an HP DeskJet 3070A printed cleaning procedure because uh, I really never turned this printer on but the, pr the person that gave it to me said that uh, it was printing very badly and uh, it thinks that uh, there's a problem with the printhead. It didn't tell me it's clogged, didn't tell me uh, what the problem actually is but I guess because it's something that can happen with these printers and every inkjet printer anyway. So let's power on and see what the problem is before doing everything else. So let's power it on. We'll take some paper inside here. Okay. Print a maintenance. It's doing a uh, an automatic clean cycle, so let's see. Okay, so the clean cycle is completed. Okay, so now I can go to maintenance and see the ink levels. Oh, they're all pretty empty, that's fine. So we're going to change cartridges before everything else. So I will take out this, oh my god, what is that? Set up cartridges. Setup cartridges. That's strange, because uh, this printer is not new. Definitely, possibly this has been refilled. There's setup cartridges. You, this, it's some. It's not something that you find most of the times inside here. So let me take some uh, refillable cartridges that I use for um, maintenance and repair and this kind of things. Okay, so let's take some uh, working cartridges inside here. And uh, let's see. So magenta and yellow are not inserted correctly. I don't think so. Maybe the pins are not the pins. The pins are fine. Maybe now. No, they are not. Re they are not uh, uh, recognized correctly. Okay, so let's do a simple test. This is something you can do when a cartridge is not um, revealed correctly or detected correctly. So you get inside one of the time. So now these three, okay, are not inserted correctly. So let's try the yellow one that before was not detected correctly. So let's see now. Okay, so the yellow has been detected. So let's see now the cyan one. And now only the magenta. Okay, so let's get the magenta in. And let's see now. Magenta is not detected. Guess we'll have to clean the contacts then. Now to clean the contacts, usually I use uh, something like this with. Uh, um, isopropyl alcohol or glass cleaner so let's do it to every contact of this board so let's try with the magenta alone and magenta is now detected so let's get inside the yellow one that was not detected before And now it is. So let's get inside the black one. Detected. And the cyan. And hopefully we will get everything fine.
and everything is fine now so now it's loading in correctly so as you can see the contacts were just a bit dirty so this is something that can happen sometimes but after you clean the contacts if the board doesn't have any problems or uh, it's damaged or have uh, ink on the board and not only on the pins you can easily fix a situation like this the cartridges are now original like I anticipated still loading okay so let's do uh, tools and uh, quality report now let's see what the situation is now okay so I need to clean the paper pickup rollers of course so it seems that the black is not printing correctly well it's not printing at all and uh, usually this, when it happens in particular to the black, it's not a problem that you fix by cleaning the print at most of the times, it's a problem that you fix by cleaning the service station, well the cleaning station of the print ad and or the printer. So I will try to clean the print ad on this one and see if the situation remains the same. If the situation is the same, I will then clean the service station and uh, maybe do a, another video about it because this video is about cleaning the print head on this printer so if you have uh, this kind of problem that after you follow this video you're not getting any results on the black well I guess you need to watch my other video that I will upload where I will talk about uh, uh, cleaning the service station on uh, this kind of printers. So let's begin. So uh, in order to clean the print head, it's pretty simple actually, you need to open up the cover and uh, remove the power plug from the back. At this point I will remove the paper inside of the tray. It's not uh, a critical step but uh, there's no point on uh, having the paper inside there now so I will take uh, uh, some uh, um, paper towels something like this and I will take one of these and uh, we'll do something like this so I uh, I bend it in half like so and then I do it again and then I do it again so in order to take something like this so now I take out every cartridge of this printhead and uh, hold the printhead in this position so now I will get the camera closer I take my paper strip like so and I bend it on this side then I move the printhead like so then I can do something like this even multiple times so even something like this and uh, position it on the platen and then move the print head onto it so yes at this point you need uh, a syringe or a dispenser or uh, something that you can use to deposit a cleaning solution onto here so onto the um, uh, the print head um, ink ink ports so in order to do this you can use uh, um, some cleaning solutions that you can find online or you can even use glass cleaners as uh, Windex in, you, in the United States or uh, Quasar in uh, uh, Italy or many other uh, glass cleaners that you can find okay so I just refilled my uh, cleaning solution dispenser I will get just a few drops onto the black ink port and then we can wait wait for how much time wait until the uh, cleaning solution uh, goes inside of the printhead and uh, goes on the paper towel 
So as soon as I have just a little problem on the light cyan, I will do even on the cyan, but um, I don't think it's even necessary on this printer to do it on the cyan. And you can see that the cyan instantly got under uh, the printhead, on the paper towel, so uh, this means that uh, this channel is probably totally fine and the black, as you can see, is clogged. But uh, as I told you before, this can happen, so even if you clean the printhead, uh, it, will, it will not print the black anyway, because uh, the printhead being clogged, clogged even the, um, the service station. So in that case, you need to follow uh, another video that I will probably make in the future. Okay, so let's wait for the black. Now, usually this is something that does not happen, but I've waited for so long for the liquid to flow down and that never happens, even after more than an hour, so um, as a last resort, without taking the printhead out of the printer, I have done something like this. So I took a syringe and uh, a little um, a feet and I drilled a little hole just to make uh, something that has uh, a larger hole and uh, this way I was able to attach it to the top side of the printhead to the ink port and push on here just lightly so that uh, uh, the liquid could flow down so as you can see now if I apply just a little bit of uh, um, cleaning solution here it will just go down so now it does it a bit slowly because uh, the uh, paper towel that is underneath it's uh, completely full of uh, ink and cleaning solution but uh, yeah it will go down as you wait just a bit yeah as you can see it flown down onto the paper towel underneath so you can see now the black spot on there so you can just take this out and uh, get the cartridges back inside and power on the printer again and see if the situation is the same or uh, if uh, it changed if the situation is the same you need to perform the uh, service station cleaning that I will show in another video but let's see where we are now so now we can go into the settings tools and uh, printed cleaning cycle you may need to run more than one at least to obtain a perfect result but uh, if the cleaning station is totally blocked you will get no uh, ink of the black part And we have some uh, black ink on there, so I think the cleaning solution um, did the trick because uh, if the cleaning station was totally blocked you were not getting even this part, so I will just uh, do another cleaning and see if the situation improves. Okay, it's better, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better, so I will do now um, print quality report. Okay, so as you can see, I don't think this is a problem to the ink flow, so what I'm going to do now is to open up the printer cover again remove the four cartridges again and uh, take uh, another paper towel again and uh, do the same thing but uh, not with uh, uh, depositing the uh, cleaning solution on the printhead but, but forcing the cleaning solution through the printhead uh, with uh, the other method that I shown you and see where we are 
So we do cleaning. Yeah, some cleaning solution just got inside of the printer on the plate, and but uh, that's not a problem. We can definitely fix this. But uh, as you can see now, the print, the black is uh, uh, appears to be printing fine. So I think I got some, yeah, got some cleaning solution on here, and uh, I will clean that just in a moment. But before, I just want to see if. Uh, the problem to the black has been fixed, so we'll go on and print uh, a quality test page. And the black is now printing perfectly fine, as I can tell for now. Yeah, we have a perfect black pattern. So, no cleaning station cleaning uh, uh, video for now. Okay, so what I will do now is uh, to open up this part and uh, blow away the excess cleaning solution that got on here. But uh, yeah, that's not not uh, something too bad. Just a matter of uh, cleaning this part and then under here. and uh, maybe even on the other side of the printer, but I have to wait for uh, it to stop. Okay, so let's see if down here there's some... No, nothing special down here. Just a bit of cleaning solution that got onto the paper. So, let's try a different test now. So, I know the combination for the 55 to 20, but not for this one. So I will try. Uh, is that something like this? No. Okay, that's the key. So. If you want to get into the engineering menu, you have to use this combination. And then you can go to the service menu. And then you can go to the uh, special reports and uh, do an uh, uh, standard self test. And that could require more than one page, so I think I have to take one other sheet of paper inside here. Exactly. Perfectly fine. So this printer got fixed with no problem whatsoever using this method. So if you continue to have problems, as I said before, with the black part especially, you need to clean uh, the um, cleaning station. And I don't know when I will release a video like that, but it will be soon. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!